in order to store different types of data in a SQL server. First of all, we must know what is data. Data is nothing but collection of raw facts. It may be a number or it may be a character or it may be a group of character or it may be a, a Facebook comments or it may be YouTube videos or it may be Twitter tweets. Anything, anything you can call as what? Data. In order to store different type of data in database, here in our SQL server, we are having different types of data types are there. Basically, data is classified into three types. One is numeric data, other one is character data, another one is other data. Numeric data is again divided into two types, integer and floating point. Integer means a number without decimal point is integer. A number with a decimal point is floating point. In order to store integer data, we are having different data types are there. Like tiny int, small int, int, big int. These data types are classified based on range and size. Similarly, in order to store floating point, like float, small money, money, decimal. These are different data types to store the floating point. In SQL, in SQL server, in order to store a single character or group of characters or alphanumeric character, we are having different data types like char, mcar, varchar and varchar. So today our main topic is what is the difference between these four data types. These four looks like similar but actually you must know the difference. In order to store date, date of joining, the higher date, expiry date, enrollment date, date of birth, we are having date data type. In order to store time, arrival time, departure time, we are having time data type. In order to store date along with time, we are having date time data type. In order to store some uh, files or photos, we are having binary data type. So, now we will discuss about what is the difference between char, uh, mcar, varchar and nvarchar. Okay. So, these four data types are generally used to store uh, single character or group of characters or alphanumeric character or any special characters. So, what is char? Generally, the syntax of declared char is char of some size. The size of char is fixed. Is it clear? It means that whenever you declare char of, for example, if I declare char of 20, it will allocate 20 characters of memory. Char will allocate 20 characters of memory. As I mentioned, the size of char is 20. Is it clear? So here it will allocate nearly 20 characters of memory and it will allocate one byte for each character. So you do see. And for example, if I try to store one some data like uh, some John, if I store some John, in order to store this data, it will allocate nearly four characters of memory. It uses only four characters of memory to store this group of characters. And the remaining 16 characters of memory is what? Wasted. I hope you understood. The size of char is fixed. Whenever you mention the size of char as char of 20, it will allocate 20 characters of memory and it will occupy only 4 characters of memory. The remaining uh, memory is wasted. But whenever you declare something like where char of 20, where char will allocate only the required memory. And if I store something like uh, John in where char, and uh, here if you observe, where char will allocate only 4 characters of memory. It will allocate only four characters of memory, it will allocate memory to store only four characters, uh, one byte for each character. So here it will allocate memory to store John. And the remaining 16 characters of memory is not wasted. So here, I am not telling that char is drawback. So it is recommended, if you know the size, go for char. If you don't know the size, go for var char. The maximum number of characters that we can store in char and var char is 8000 characters. Is it clear? We will practically prove this one. So here I will try to write one sample program to prove this one. So I will declare a variable. Declare at the rate variable name some a. Data type I will give as char. Char of 20 I will give mention. And here I want to set the value in the variable. Set at the rate variable name is equal to value. The value I will give as done. And here I want to print the value. Something like this I will print or I will try to use select command, select at the rate a, I want to print the name John, comma, and I want to print the length that was occupied for that, uh, to store that characters. So there is one predefined function called data length, data length of at the rate a, as uh, uh, memory, how much memory that was allocated, 
comma. I am giving some alias name there. And there is one more function called length. The actual length of the character. This length property will give the actual number of character. Data length will give the actual size that was occupied to store that particular group of characters. Right, so I will try to execute this one. Press F5. And here you can check the output. If you observe clearly, the value that I am storing is John. The actual memory it was occupied is 20 characters. As I mentioned, the care of 20. And uh, the actual length of this John is 4 characters. Actually, it allocated 20 characters of memory, but the memory it was used is only 4 characters. Remaining 16 characters of memory is what? Wasted. For example, I will declare one more variable. At the rate B, I will mention data type where care of 20. Where care of 20, I will try to set the value. Set at the rate B is equals to, here also I will try to store John. And I want to print the same. Here I want to print the uh, value that is at the rate B. And I want to print the length of that particular value. And here I want to print the, this is data length, we will get the length, the actual memory it was occupied. Is it clear? Press of 5. So if you observe clearly, this is care. Care will allocate 20 bytes of memory. And it will use only 4 characters of memory to store John. The remaining memory is what? Wasted. Where care will allocate only 4 characters of memory. The remaining memory is not wasted. So which one is important means? I hope that both are important. If the size is fixed, then we can go for what? Care. If the size is not fixed, we can go for where care. Is it clear? And the maximum number of characters that we can store in care and where care is 8000. So here you press F5. See, care allocated 8000 uh, bytes of memory. One byte for each character. But now what I want to do here is, here if I mention 8001, if I mention the size as 8001, here you will get an error message saying that the size given to the type care exceeds the maximum allowed for any data type is 8000. It means that the maximum number of characters you know, that was uh, we can store in care and where care is 8000. I hope you understood. Here you see the difference between care and where care. The size of care is fixed. The size of where care is not fixed. It is variable length. It varies depending on the data that you store. The maximum number of characters that you can store in care and where care is 8000. And care will allocate one byte of memory for each character. Where care also will allocate one byte of memory for each character. The type of data that we can store in where care and where care is non-unicode characters. Unicode characters means uh, national characters. And national characters means if you want to store other languages data like Chinese, Japanese, French or any other Arab, any other languages data apart from English data, that type of characters are called as unicode characters. But care and where care supports only non-unicode characters. If you want to store Unicode characters, then we are having some other data types like NCAR and NWARECAR. Is it clear? The size of NCAR, NCAR and CAR works like same. NCAR size is what? Fixed. The size of NWARECAR is variable length. It varies depending on the data that you will store. The maximum number of characters that you can store in NCAR is 4000. The maximum number of characters that you can store in NWARECAR is also 4000. And uh, NCAR will allocate 2 bytes of memory for each character. It will allocate 2 bytes of memory for each character. NWARECAR also will allocate 2 bytes of memory for each character. Zitker, that is if you want to store some Chinese data or Japanese data or French or Arab, some uh, different other language like Hindi, different languages data if you want to store in database. Zitker, apart from English language data, if you want to store some different languages data, in English, alphabets are 26 alphabets are there. Each alphabet is an individual character. But if you go for Arab or Chinese or some other languages, you can consider two characters as a one character in some other languages. In that case, what will happen means it will occupy uh, two bytes of memory to store a single character. Two bytes of memory to store a single character. So it requires two bytes of memory for single character if you want to store some other language data. That is why NCAR and WARECAR will allocate 2 bytes of memory for each character. It supports both Unicode and non-Unicode characters. 
NCAR and NVARCAR supports both Unicode and non-Unicode characters. It also supports Unicode and non-Unicode. Unicode means only uh, ASCII values, something like English data only it will accept. Non-Unicode means national characters or international languages data also you can store. In order to prove that one, here you can say, I will mention, here you can say, as I told the first point that uh, uh, the size of uh, care and NCAR will work like same. For example, if I declare NCAR, if I declare NCAR of uh, some length 20, this NCAR will allocate uh, memory to store 20 characters. It will allocate memories to store 20 characters and it will occupy 2 bytes of memory for one character. And for example, if I store John, in order to store John, it will allocate nearly uh, 8 bytes of memory. 2 bytes for each character, so 8 bytes of memory is allocated and the remaining uh, 16 uh, characters from 16 to 32 bytes of memory is what? Wasted and you go for NCAR. If you want to prove this one practically you can prove, here I will mention NCAR and uh, here also I will mention what? NVARCAR and here I will mention the size as 20 and here also I will mention the size as 20 and here the same program, press F5. Here you see. I have stored John. Actually, it allocates 20 bytes of memory, 20 characters of memory, 2 bytes for each character. So, NCAR will allocate nearly 20 into 2 bytes, 40 characters of memory, 40 bytes of memory. And the used memory is only 4 bytes. Remaining 36 uh, bytes of memory is what? Wasted. But once when you declare NVARCAR, NVARCAR will allocate nearly in order to store 4 characters, 4 into 2 bytes, it will allocate only 8 bytes of memory. And the remaining memory is not wasted. So, I'm, uh, here, uh, what I am telling here is, when to go for, if the requirement is to store non-unicode characters, and if the size is fixed, then go for care. If the requirement is to store uh, non-unicode characters, and if you don't know the size, go for where care. If the requirement is to store Unicode characters and if the size is fixed, go for NCAR. If the requirement is to store Unicode characters and the size is not fixed, then go for NVARCAR, national character. Are you following? So, for example, if you take, if we consider PAN card number, PAN card number is 10 digit number. That is, uh, then the length of that uh, number will not vary from one uh, uh, citizen to another citizen. So, the size is fixed. So, it is better to go for what? Care. If you take student name or college name or company name, anything or designation, the uh, if you take a designation as developer or software developer or team leader or as a senior software developer, something like that. The length of that string is varying. In that case, better to choose what? Where care. For example, if you want to store some national characters data, mostly Japanese, uh, these people will prefer uh, to develop the websites in their own languages. In that case, you have to store the data uh, which is not in English language. If you want to store some national characters or other languages data and if you know the size, then better to choose NCAR. And if, the, if you want to store the national characters and if you don't know the size, then better to choose NVARCAR. I hope